Hello, hello, hello. I am back in the studio with a lovely Jill. Hello, Jill. Hello. We are in the process of finalising the Tilda Embroidery Flower Quilt um, kits and summaries of what we're doing. So I thought what I would do, which would probably make life a lot easier for everybody, is talk you through what you're going to get in your kit. There are a handful of them left. There really aren't a lot left. So at the moment, you're going to get the pattern. The pattern is free on the Tilda website. Um, so you will get the pattern. On the first page of the pattern, you will get all the requirements of your fabric. There are 46 fabric requirements. And then on the next page, this is the one that's the most useful, is you will see all of the colours of the kits that are in there. So in addition to that, what we've done is we have created a summary of the fabric that you're going to be getting. So, and we've numbered each kit. So there's number 46. Oh, Jill, what happened to number 46, my love? Can I grab? Oh, there we go. So that's number 46. So you'll see each of your bags that you get are in a reusable, resealable bag. And the reason being is A, it's numbered, but then B, when you get onto page five, which is the cutting list, you will see for fabric number 46, you need six two inch squares. So what I've done is I've given you the bag that's see-through. So what you would do is then as you check through what you've got, you will then be able to go and check here what you've got to cut, which is on page five of the pattern. But also on the summary over here, for number 46, you've got to cut six. So what we've done is just to try and create your, make your life a little easier, we've been able to give you each of the bags open so that you know that that's number 45 and you can see the color matches there that's number 45 this is number 44 that's number 44 you can see the colors match there this is number 43 color matches there 42 color matches number 41 this is a bigger piece so this is for me I'm <coughs> sorry, COVID still remains. My cough is not going anywhere. Hello, Anne Davies. Um, bear with, I'm just doing this one-handed. So that was number 41, and then we've got fabric number 40. You can then match those back. And then number 39. I think it's important to just make sure that you check them as you go along so that you know you've got the right fabric in the right place. That's 38. Then you've got 37. I know in a little plastic bag, it doesn't really show quite as well as it could. And then we're down to number 36, which is the solid lupin. <coughs> 35. And it's important to notice like 33 and 32, they're really close but it's important to just know what you've got and where you are. And then number 31, and number 30, and then fabric number 29. So that's a little bit brighter, that's what's on the screen there, but you can see that's where you are, that's what you're looking at, that's number 39. And then number 38, uh, 28, and then what you can tell on here, so when you're on fabric number 28, you can see you've got to cut 23 squares, and I've given you five inches with the fabric. This is a little bit bigger than five inches. That number 23, which is the number of squares to cut, just as a reminder, you're going to page five of the pattern, page five. You're going down to number 28 over there. You can see there's 23. Okay, now, when there is an asterisk, it says fabrics with an asterisk are also needed in the rectangles for the pieced back. This is important to know. <laughs> I do not, I have not provided you enough fabric for the back as well. You do not have enough for the back. So you may very well be able to eke bits out for the back, but I haven't given you the back as well. I'm sorry, we just didn't have enough fabric for that. Um, and I think that backs, I personally don't like the back of this quilt. I'm doing something different. So I think backs should always be somebody else's personal choice. So that's where we are. So that's number 28. And then we've got number 27. That's number 27 over there. And then we've got number 26. Now 26, as I recall, 
is uh, seven inches. And then number 25 is the one that you get the most fabric of. You're getting 12 and a half inches of fabric, number 25. And per my little list over here, number 25, you're getting 92 uh, two inch squares for fabric nine, uh, 25. To confirm back here, fabric 25, 92. <coughs> I have done, hi Shirley, I have done my best to make sure that the figures are correct. Please double check number page five of your pattern versus what I've got on my sheet. I'm only human. We can make mistakes. I can check things three times. Joe can check it. Jill can check it. We can still get things wrong. There's no malice intended. It happens. It's not to upset anybody. So just check back to the pattern. All right, page five. So we were on number 25, then we're on number 24. That's fabric number 24. Our colour chart is on page number three, going back here. So this is fabric number 24, solid sage green, fabric 24. And we've got fabric 23. This is fabric 23 over here. And then we've got fabric number 22. And we've got fabric number 21. And we're slowly working our way through. This is fabric number 20. The pale, uh, solid pale yellow, that's number 20. And then fabric number 19 is the solid salmon. Now, when we're getting into this stage, 19, 18, 17, 16, they are very similar in color. So just be aware of where you are. So that's number 19, which is that one. Then we've got number 18, which is the solid rust, which is that one there. Number 17 is the solid ginger, that one there. 16, solid cantaloupe, that's number 16. Shirley, Shirley, you're not too late at all, darling. It is on the website. If you just look up Tilda, you'll see it on the website there with pleasure. You can definitely get them um, <coughs> at the moment. Um, I haven't got, I'm not ready to cut any more kits at the moment because this was quite a lot of cutting. But we are open to doing more of that in the future. We'll see how we go. That's number 14. That's fabric 14. Fabric 13. Now, I love this colour. And unfortunately, the cerise doesn't show up quite as well on film as it does in real life. But that is a beautiful colour. That's fabric number 13, cerise. Now, remember, I've done a summary here. Fabric 13, cerise, 36 squares. You've got a five-inch piece of it. Double check my measurements there for fabric 13. Go down here, 36 squares. Okay. <clears throat> and then we got number 12, which is a solid pink down the bottom there. You can see that works. That's right. Number 11 is the solid dusty rose. That's number 11. Then we've got number 10, which is what they've called solid red. Then we've got number 9, which is a solid brown. Then we've got number eight, which is a solid terracotta. And then we've got number seven, which is a solid rosewood. That one there is number seven. You can see how these colours match really well. There's number six as well, which is a solid country red. And then number five is a solid burgundy. That's number five. Then we've got number four, <clears throat> which is the solid toffee. Number four. <clears throat> Sorry. And we've got number three, which is the solid cappuccino. And then we've got fabric number two, which is the warm solid sand. And then what the plan is, is when you've got your fabric two over here, you're going to check on your list here. And I'm saying you need 19 squares. This is on page five. <coughs> For page five of the pattern, you go back here. Fabric number two, you need 19 squares. So what I'm going to suggest you do is you, you take this, you cut out 19 two-inch squares out of that, and then you put 19 two-inch squares back in here. And then if you want to, just use a little bit of masking tape in the corner and write down how many squares you've got so that you know. So that's fabric number two. Fabric number three, you need five. So you cut five out, put them back in the bag. These bags are reusable, so that's the only reason that I've used them. And then obviously with number four, we need 18 of these in number four. Cut them out, put them in there. <coughs> <coughs> 
Sorry, I haven't spoken this much in ages. So that is the process of doing this. I will be doing six more tutorials on how to do this. I will be cutting two different sizes. One is a one inch size and one is a two inch size, which is the size it's meant to be. I'm doing both. So we will make sure that you have got the tutorials for these to be able to do it. I am quite keen on the little bags, mainly because you've got your squares all in one place then. Some of the bags will need more squares. I think the most squares you've got to cut is obviously the blue, uh, the peacock, um, but we need 90, two squares of fabric number 25 so there may be ones that you need to get an extra little baggie of so that is now fabrics up to fabrics 2 to 46 then our fabric number one is this gorgeous peacock now remember when i send you your fabric and it's got creases in i don't charge you any extra for the creases you get those for free they're all yours and then you've got fabric number one which matches up there, fabric number one, and you're getting three meters of that. <coughs> then on top of that, you are getting the quilter's grid. Quilter's grid, we will do a tutorial on how to use the quilter's grid with pleasure, but you will notice that where you can see the lines, this is a smooth side, but when you can't see the lines, this is a bumpy side that is actually fully adhesive. So we will go through how you work all of that but in the kit you're getting about 6.6 .6 meters of this I've said 6.5 but I'm trying to cut a bit extra so you've got a few little inches here and there left over so it's about 6.6 .6 meters of this that you're getting you're getting three meters of this <clears throat> you're getting your pattern and you're getting a summary of double checking that I've put everything in the right order and then you're getting the 45 little bags of fabric all the way there so that is what you can expect in your kit. Uh, the next video will probably be in two weeks time when I've actually done my cutting or started my cutting. Um, I think it's important to show you where you are on that, but I'm not quite ready to do that yet. So two weeks, and also that means if anybody else wants to take part, I do have a handful of kits left over. They are on the website. I'll pop a link in the description below and hopefully you can join us then. Look after yourself. Gillian, do you want to say goodbye to the peoples? Bye. Bye. Have a lovely day, everyone.